Hi there, welcome back. Let's bring you more on that explosive interview with Cristiano Ronaldo. I'm delighted to say that we're joined in the studio by football journalist and United We Stand editor Andy Mitten. Good afternoon to you. Uh, we're going to talk about your phone blowing up uh, since yesterday. Um, but I want to talk about first your immediate reaction to the news that, that, that broke last night about this interview. What did you think? Negative. Why have you done this? What good can come from this? Mm. I felt that most United fans would be thinking along pretty similar lines. Mm. Uh, it, it's a shame it's coming to this, but it is coming to this. I've seen other great players leave Manchester United and there's seldom a happy ending. It often takes five or ten years. And huge names as well. Roy Keane, Ruud van Nistelrooy. Very few are like Eric Cantona where they choose to go out on their terms. And it takes them a long time to go, OK, maybe... Maybe I didn't deserve a new contract. Maybe I didn't deserve more minutes. Maybe there was another point of view. But this is high level. It's front page news this morning. Everybody's talking about it. And mm. I still think history will remember Cristiano well as a Manchester United player. He's probably the best player I've ever seen play for Manchester United. Uh, but at the moment, it's not pretty. No. But then watching him play football this season has been pretty challenging as well. The goals have dried up. He's had plenty of opportunities. I think the club have been pretty fair with him, the way they've treated him. And I think the fans have been pretty supportive of him as well. But players like him are going to be judged by uh, how many goals he score and their output. And he's in decline. You can't deny, you can't pretend otherwise. Look, you, we said, I said at the beginning of this interview, your phone has literally been ringing off the hook, hasn't it? I mean, as you sat down, you were hearing from the club, so let's hear what they, they've just said to you just a few moments ago. Well, we had the statement from the club, mm -hmm. and they're going to sleep on it. And I think the club have treated, treated Cristiano pretty fairly. He's walked out of Old Trafford twice during matches this season. I think Eric Ten Hag is a disciplinarian. I think he's been pretty fair made him captain, giving him minutes to play in matches. I don't think that is a betrayal. I think some of the points Cristiano makes are valid. Like what? Like, he left in 2009. Well, when he left, Manchester United were still world champions. And when he came back, the club were a long way from that point. And the training ground probably hadn't changed enough. So he left the best training ground around and it is no longer the best training ground. No. Tottenham, Leicester, I could name lots of others. Old Trafford, the infrastructure, and United under the Glazers have been slow. So he, he's got some valid points there. But he knew the team he was going back to. He knew it was about recovery. And I was excited when he signed. I think most United fans were. And I think last season he was successful. Where would United have been without his goals? Mm. But his form has dipped again. I don't think he's finished as a player maybe just as a top level one for a, a top, top team. Manchester United are not quite a top, top team yet uh, either, but he wanted to go. He wasn't pushed out, he wanted to leave. There was a lack of offers came in for him. Mm. He told people he wanted to leave in the summer. Manchester mm. United would not have stopped him leaving the club. It would have freed up money to sign a forward. United need a forward, scored 20 goals this season in the league. Manchester City have scored 40 goals this season. So the club are all about, and Eric Ten Hag's all about togetherness, being united. I think there's clear evidence that there's improvements there. Mm. Had some really good results this season and performances, not just results, the performance against Tottenham, the atmosphere that night was the best in years. It really was. And unfortunately, Cristiano has not always been a, a part of that. He's gone from being the main man to being a peripheral performer for Manchester United, and it is sad to watch, but it was also sad to watch the decline of other great players. It, he's human. Mm. It, maybe he's superhuman, but he's still human. Do you think there's any way that they should be making allowances for Cristiano Ronaldo because of the stature of him, because he's this, you know, five-time Ballon d'Or winner? You know, should they be saying, hang on a minute, we've got this wrong? In any way, do you think the club have got this wrong at all, the well, way they've handled it? There's allowances in the wages that, that he receives. I think United could have been much harder when he walked out against Rayo Vallecano. Um, they made a point when he walked out more recently of punishing him, but equally brought him back into the fold pretty quickly, made him captain. I, I would criticise Manchester United on this if I felt they had been unfair. But honestly, I don't. I think some of his points are reasonable. I think the place where he's done, done the interview, I think uh, Piers Morgan is, is an Arsenal fan. <laughs> He's not always got it right about Manchester United either. In, in 2000, 
He said that the FA Cup was finished without Manchester United's involvement. Well, it's not finished at all. And I think most United fans would be saying with Cristiano, if you want to go, go. Use that money to get another striker in. It's not easy getting big-name strikers in who are going to perform at that level. It's not pretty to watch. No, it, it's quite sad, as you said, you know, the demise of, of, of a player that abs was absolutely, and probably still is, loved by the Manchester United fans. So it's interesting to see how they're going to react to it. The interesting word that's been used uh, is respect. Now, Ten Hag used that, which was interesting, when he said, I, I didn't want to bring him off the bench, you know, because I respect him too much. And now Cristiano Ronaldo saying, he doesn't respect me, I don't respect him. Who's kind of lying in that situation? Do you think either one of them, or they, they've lost respect for each other? I could see Ten Hag's point, you know, bringing him on for the last two minutes in a match. Mm -hmm. I could see where he was coming from here. He is a huge name. If you look at his social media figures, he's, he's, he's bigger than Manchester United. Yeah, yeah. Now, in, in the eyes of my eight-year-old daughter, Cristiano Ronaldo is bigger than Manchester United. Equally, no one player should ever be bigger than a football club. And Sir Alex Ferguson made the difficult calls, again, on huge name players. And I think Eric Ten Hag is going in that direction as well. There's always perceived slights. There's always two versions of the truth. Mm -hmm. in football. Players who depart always feel they should have had another year on the contract, more minutes, more games, more respect. And when you are the top dog, when you're the king of the castle, that tends to come naturally mm -hmm. because everyone really loves you. And when you're coming down, that happens less naturally. And that is happening now. He's, he's had a, f a real fair crack from Manchester United fans, I think from the club as well. He's got some frustrations. That's natural with every footballer. Do you think, if you were a prospective club thinking, oh, we're, we're going to get Cristiano Ronaldo in, you know, even if it was just to sell shirts, because he's still going to do that for you, do you think watching what we were gonna, are going to see on Wednesday and, and these bits of this would put you off in any way? You know, all that comes with Ronaldo, do you think that might put, put off a potential club? Maybe, but he's still got huge commercial value. Yeah. And, and clubs and humans, they, they change the tune pretty quickly. I've seen players... I can remember United fans going, there's no way back for him. Yeah. No. And two weeks later, <laughs> booing, cheering the same player. Mm -hmm. Two goals can change everything. Ronaldo is still huge. I, I, I knew somebody who came from India last week. He came to Old Trafford. He really wanted a United shirt with Ronaldo on the back. He's mm -hmm. still a huge, huge star. Could he go to America and be a massive star? Of course he could. Mm -hmm. I doubt that he could go to Real Madrid and be a massive star. I don't think he's at the level. Maybe he'll prove me wrong, mm -hmm. but... I don't think, and I've watched him an awful lot, and I watched him an awful lot in Spain, that he is still at that level. And there's no shame in that. He's had an incredible career. Mm. He's been the first or second best footballer in the world for well over a decade. Mm. His pursuit of personal excellence is staggering and admired by all of those he played with. Mm. I could give you so many stories of players who talk about his competitive level is determination to succeed his life has been a massive success mm. with the trophies to show off for that but it's not going to carry on forever he's not going to be playing when he's 70 years old is it at some point there's going to be a decline just finally do you think he's been a little naive with this interview or do you think this is all playing out exactly how cristiano ronaldo would want it to he's been sucked into a tabloid culture and the headlines will reflect that. And maybe the interview will be more balanced and there's more context applied to it. But which tabloid newspaper editor has gone for that when he wants to grab the reader's attention? And that has worked big time today. Because mm -hmm. I woke up this morning and the first thing I saw was the front page of The Sun. Mm -hmm. And people are talking about it. But he's got smart people around him who are supposed to advise him whether it's a good idea to do interviews or not to do interviews. Uh, Piers Morgan, I don't blame him. As a journalist, bang, he's got the scoop. He certainly did. He has done. He's, he's delivered on that. Uh, I think Manchester United fans may not share his enthusiasm for that scoop. I think you might be right. Oh, Andy, it's good to see you. And good to see you in the studio as well. Thank you so much for joining us.